Hey, Evan, welcome to Jacksonville. Uh, what was it about the Jaguars that made you want to join the team here? Um, a big, big part of my decision was, um, was Doug, um, him coming in here. Um, obviously, playing against him twice a year the last five, four years when he was in Philly. Um, and his, his resume and pedigree um, using the tight end position um, and some of the talent that he's developed uh, was a big part of my decision. And, um, and having Trevor at quarterback and even the direction they were going in free agency. And uh, I just I, I kind of felt that it was heading, starting to head in the right direction. And I want to be a part of it. And since you signed here, have any of the current Jags reached out to you and kind of welcomed you yet? Trevor Lawrence, maybe? Yeah, um, Trevor sent me a text last night on my way in um, and then just kind of reaching out and expressing his excitement um, and vice versa. So uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure he'll be around here um, today or tomorrow or something and, and we'll get to meet face to face. But I'm um, looking forward to working with him. Uh, hey, Evan, uh, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, could you just talk about, uh, the, you know, you were the only one of the free agents that signed a one year deal. Mm -hmm. Uh, just to, can you just go into the reasoning behind that? Was this something that you wanted, or only that was what they wanted? Uh, did you did you even you know think strongly about a multi year deal? What, what was the whole thinking on that? Um, I mean, it was it was definitely a personal decision, um, and, um, and the Jags were were able to, to work out a good deal for me. And um, there were there were some things over the past season I, I just felt like I didn't get to um, showcase my, my true abilities and and, and my, have a um, a great opportunity to do that. So um, I felt coming here with, with Doug and Trevor and, and the direction this franchise is going to, to take a one-year deal to uh, to work hard and, and make big plays um, and, and hopefully down the line uh, be a long-term thing. Hey, Evan, congratulations. Thank uh, you. I know you obviously watched and played against the Eagles, but did you talk to, to like Zach Ertz or any guys that played for the Eagles about the way Doug uses a tight end before making this decision? No, I didn't get to. Um, I didn't get to do that, but um, I, there was a lot of highlights on YouTube that I that I tapped into um, throughout the process. And um, even, even all the teams um, that I had the chance uh, to think about, um, even just knowing knowing Doug was here um, and, and watching some of the, that Philly stuff that he was doing with Zach Ertz, and I mean, even even when they had Trey Burton and, and Brent Selleck still there, um, it was it was just it was kind of a no brainer. Just the amount of times you know the tight ends were being used in the different unique ways, um, it, was, it just popped up even even on an iPad, even on YouTube. So um, it was uh, it was a it was a no brainer for me, and I'm excited to be here. If you take Doug out of the equation, is Trevor a big enough draw for pl players around the league to go, hey, you know what, I'd love to play with a young quarterback that's ascending, hopefully? I mean, definitely. I mean, look at look at the impact across the league that these young quarterbacks are having. Um, and, and, and with Trevor, he has that he has that talent. He has that um, that ability. Um, even just, I've been a big fan of him through college, and, and I know he went through a lot last year. And for him to be able to to be a leader here and, and, and make an impact that he did, um, so that 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 stands out to me. So um, that was another big decision playing with the, playing with a young quarterback, a big quarterback that I could come in and relate to and build a relationship with, and um, and and, and uh, transfer that relationship uh, to success on the field. Evan, back here. Um, specifically, how can you help a young quarterback in year two? What do you bring to the table that will change the dynamic for him, and how do you expect to be able to help him? Yeah, I, I mean, my goal is to come in here and, and, and learn the offense and learn the system and learn the terminology so, at one, we can be on the same page in, in the communication basis. Um, when we're on the field and we're conversating, we're talking, we're, um, we're attacking, we're on the same page communication-wise. And my ability, um, I just, I just want to be – used uh, and, and I'm going to do everything I can to be used all over the field um, wherever my, my skill set can be used wherever is best for the offense um, in that week or in that that situation um, I feel like that can be a, a big help to Trevor and along with the other talent that's already here um, so I, I know um, there's a lot of talent that's already here that is going to help him as well and um, my biggest thing is to come in and learn as much as possible and, and grow that relationship to where the, that trust is there and in big moments and key situations I can show up for him and um, and help him develop and, and make those big plays and help him gain confidence as well. How you doing? Um, can, can you just share how important it was for them? It, they went aggressive in free agency, obviously, but the, the, the receivers group that they brought in and also the fact that you, you feel you, you can play on the outside slot and all those different ways you feel that you're going to be used. And how does that um, contribute to your talent? 
Yes, sir. I, I can I can play anywhere on the field, um, and that's belief in myself. But there also is going to be a level of accountability on myself to learn all that stuff, um, and to know to line up and not have any questions and, and play free. Um, and so, like, like I said, that's that's going to be huge um, for everybody to be on the same page and, and and pushing each other to learn and and being able to put all the talent we brought in around all over the field, spread defenses out, um, play our way. Um, and play the way that Doug and, and Press wants to um, to call a game. That's going to be huge. So, um, and myself, I mean, I, I, the work is going to be put in, um, and I'm going to learn as much as I can and, and soak up as much knowledge as I can to be able to use any way possible. What was the biggest selling point, Doug Peterson? You know, kind of made this attraction for you to come yeah. here. Just, just that the, the versatility of the offense. Um, we could be in 11 personnel. We can be in. 12 personnel with two tight ends. We can have three three tight ends on the field at once. And um, and the team's going to have to make a decision to play that way and so um, and to defend that. And I think um, just his, his, his knowledge of, of using the tight ends and, and putting them in positions to be successful and to kind of be that security blanket for the quarterback, but also be an explosive piece, um, that's how I view myself. And, and that's the vision he had for myself in his, in his offense. Hey, Evan, uh, congratulations. When you. You, when you knew you were going to become a free agent, were the Jaguars one of those teams that you know you kind of had in your mind that you'd be interested in playing for? Or is that something that once you found out they were interested, that's when you kind of started thinking about it? Yeah, I mean, it was it was a whirlwind, honestly. Um, I, I was just kind of going with the flow. I did, tried to not have any crazy predictions and um, was just kind of going with the flow. My agents uh, were telling me what the interest was. and. Um, when the Jags came up, um, it, it was it was an immediate interest there on my part as well. Um, and I, I never looked at the past. I never looked at what's going on here um, b b before me. Um, I just kind of looked at it with a with a, a clear mind and, and a futuristic view of how I can come in and implement my talents and, and my leadership qualities and, and my personality to to help build this team. Is it important to you to kind of be part of that next phase of the Jaguars, you know, putting behind the pass and kind of going into this next, you know, hopefully winning era? Yeah, I think it's always important to kind of just keep 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 your eyes forward um, and set goals and and, and work and, and live by the standards that are set here from the top down. And uh, you can't ever really do that looking in the past. So um, I think that's going to be a big message going forward here. That's what I feel here, just energy-wise, just being in the building. Um, and I'm excited to be a part of it. Uh, Evan, when you know you got there, Eli, <clears throat> Eli Manning was still your quarterback, and when he retired, I think you had six different quarterbacks since uh, in New York. So, how difficult was that, and is that part of the reason why you want to be here now, knowing that there's a franchise quarterback? Um, it was it was an adjustment. Um, you know, this league, a lot of things in this league are difficult. So. Um, it's our job to, to adjust and it's our job to compete at the highest level no matter what the standard is. So um, I played with a lot of good quarterbacks and a lot of good, talented people um, in that room. And Eli um, was, was a big part of my development as a young player. Um, so I, I always have gratitude towards him, the way he played, and the way he carried himself. And, um, and honestly, like I said earlier, I mean, Trevor's, his leadership qualities pop out even from afar. Um, and, and, and that being and from a young player already, um, and obviously the talent he has and the arm talent and the upside he has. Um, and I know the staff coming in um, that can help him develop in, in that uh, department. Um, it was a huge, it was a huge plus for me and a huge attraction of mine um, coming here. Hi, Evan. Congrats again. Thank you. Uh, do you know Christian Kirk? Have you guys crossed paths? I know you're both in the SEC. Did you guys cross paths at all? And yeah. what do you know about him? And, and how do you envision him being the number one receiver for this team? Yeah, no, he was he was a headache for us. I mean, when he was at A&M uh, across the sideline, I mean, he was returning to punts down the seam, outside, underneath. Um, and he, he had a lot of success in, in, in Arizona, too. And, uh, we, we, we shared the same trainer for a summer a couple years ago, so um, that's how we kind of met and always kept up with each other. And um, it was it was it was cool when when the interest and kind of the, even that day of free agency kind of came down to the wire. He was already signed, and, and just being able to know that you know having that talent next to me and, and added on to the talent that's already here, um, it, it was uh, it was going to be a, it was going to be a cool situation to come into and work with. And even hanging out with him today, um, he's a real humble guy and. He's hungry to get to work. We're already trying to guess how the offense is going to be and, and, and start thinking and, and um, daydreaming about how we're going to try to make some plays. So um, I'm excited to 
all the guys coming in. Um, I think they did a great job. And I know the draft's coming up, and even guys still that are here now, um, it's, it's going to be a great group. Who are your influences at tight end? I mean, who are the guys that you shape your game after or uh, influenced you in any way? Who's the best tight end in your game? Um, well, I, I, in Atlanta, uh, growing up in Atlanta, when Tony G came to, to the Falcons, I mean, he's a little bit bigger than me, but just his, his reliability um, and then his, uh, um, his playmaking skills, his ball skills, um, that, that kind of gave me my, my tight end dreams, honestly. Um, and then even getting into the league, um, a lot watched a lot of Jordan Reed. I mean, just uh, the matchups that, that they were able to put him in and his versatility as a route runner and being explosive in short spaces, but also being able to get downfield um, and, and spread the field. Um, that was that was a big, uh, big comparison and a, and, a, and a player I always try to mold after. And I mean, now all across the league, I, I watch everybody. You got George Kill, you got Travis Kelsey, um, you got Dallas over there, you got Mark Andrews. Um, even Dan Arnold. I mean, I, even we played it, played him a couple of times once, and uh, when we were in Arizona, made some big plays. And I know he started to get going here last year. Um, so even coming in to work with him and learn from him, I'm excited about. So um, it's I, I watch I watch a lot of guys and um, so many talent around this league. So much talent at that position. It's it's really changing. Um, and so whatever I can steal from those guys and put in my game, put in my belt, I'm gonna do it. So um, there's been a lot of influences on my game. Thank you, guys. Thank you.